Magic the Gathering is an extension of a person's personality. Um, once you're into the game, you'll find that there are a lot of things designed for certain personality types, and um, you often see that those players are using those things as an extension of their own personality. The people who sat down and developed Magic went, you know, while we love every aspect of Dungeons and Dragons with hit points and monsters and spells, and oh God, it's so hard to get over. Why can't we make up a game that goes really fast, you know, that, that resolves quickly? This is what your answer was for that. It was a game that, that, that plays quickly, that incorporates all the good things about Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy role playing, and then it became its own creation, so to speak, as it evolved. Throughout the world, there are planeswalkers that are on a journey of their own, fighting for their own cause. Some of them work together towards the same cause, others work against each other, and the game kind of follows that storyline, and as you play the game, you play as a planeswalker and are on a similar journey to ones that are represented in the story. My name is Justin Cloak. I am 24 years old, and I'm a manager here at Cool Stuff Games in Orlando, Florida. I've been playing Magic on and off for about 12 years now. I started playing Magic the Gathering because when I was at my local card store, um, I had seen kids playing Magic, and I had saw the interactions between the players and the things that they were using and just generally interested me. And so I started talking to local players about what they were doing and how they were accomplishing it, and moved forward from there. My name is Joe Phelps, and I've been currently playing Magic for about two and a half months. What the game really is, I'm a Magic user, you're a Magic user, I'm going to use all my spells to knock 20 points off of you and kill you. That is the, the gist of it. Two mages go out onto a battlefield, they're casting spells at each other, each spells interact with each other or don't interact with each other. That is the game, and it should be an eclectic group of people that play this game from little kids to 60-year-old men women get, come in and play this game, just the large diversity of the group that plays. I was like, well, if they can do it, this old dog can do it. If I have spare time, I'll play a game, or I'll sit in front of the computer and simulate putting decks together. Um, so it fills up my downtime pretty well. I will say, as somebody who played in the very early days of Magic, I tend to think that it's better now with all the digital artwork than it was at the very beginning. Uh, but I do think that there is a sweet spot somewhere in the mid-2000s uh, where the art was more likely to be hand-drawn but also be high quality. So some of my favorite artwork I've seen was from that era. Back in 2009, I was in a hospital for um, open heart surgery. When I was, you know, recovering and everything, you know, three-month recovery, you got to find something to do. Magic kind of came to mind. Took some of my brother's magic cards and here I am three years later playing Magic. The biggest accomplishment I've had in Magic was beating my brother for the first time. He was the one that taught me how to play and gave me my cards and beating him was kind of a self-gratifying thing to do. Uh, my best Magic accomplishment would probably be finishing in the top 64, uh, two years running at the Junior Super Series back in 1998 and 1999. Um, it landed me a decent-sized scholarship, uh, so I didn't have to work as much through college. Um, it allowed me uh, to actually get on the Pro Tour uh, one of the years as well. At this moment, Magic the Gathering to me is a competitive outlet. Um, some people go and play community softball um, or pick up basketball. I come to the card store to uh, sling spells. I like the community because they're more than willing to help you better yourself, better your deck, give you pointers, and just teach you how to be a better Magic player. I started getting involved with Magic the Gathering because I had a son who was 13 and he was learning to play it and he would go to play at night, I'd have to stay with him, I looked like it was a lot of fun and rather than just waste my time, I ask him to teach me. The advice uh, that I would give anybody who wants to start playing is to start playing with your friends and practice, practice. This is not a game that is easy to pick up on the first try. Um, but don't, don't give up, don't lose hope. Sometimes you may play against somebody who is very good and you might feel intimidated, but the answer is don't be, you lose a game, the big deal, play again. Where I see Magic in 10 years is probably the number one game as far as non-sport game in America. 
in 10 years, I hope Magic is growing and touching more players, bringing more players into the community. Magic the Gathering is at its peak in popularity and it is still growing. In 10 years, I hope that in a, in a similar state, I hope that the uh, players still have just as much interest as they do now and I hope the cards still retain the value that they do.